This tutorial will explain Profus Anchor setup features and how users can customize their projects. When Profus Anchor is initially opened, the following screen appears. The program will default to the country corresponding to the website from which it was originally downloaded. It will likewise default to the building code corresponding to that country. To select another country, click on the drop down, then highlight that country. The program will default to the building code corresponding to that country. Profus Anchor permits users to perform design calculations using the provisions of CSA A23.3 for Canada, the ATOG provisions for Europe, and the provisions of ACI 318 and the IBC building codes for the US. The box that appears with the initial screen provides Profus Anchor users with various options for opening a project. Users can select Blank and Recent to open a new project or a recently used existing project. They can also select Templates to open project templates that have been developed. They can open a new project using an existing project. Or they can open an existing project. When Blank and Recent is selected, Profus Anchor users have the option to open a new project or a recently used existing project. The right side of the box will provide any applicable information that has been input for that particular project. Templates can be used for recurring applications. The use of a template can save time because it does not require the user to re-input parameters or to reconstruct the application each time it's opened. The template that I've opened corresponds to the use of QuickHus EZ anchors installed along the top of a wall. The construction will stay essentially the same, but by using the template I can modify the loads to correspond to the particular application upon which I'm working. Once I've made the desired modifications to the template, I can save it as a Profus Anchor project. This project will now correspond to a particular application which was created using the template. Selecting new from existing is similar to using a template. This option can be selected for applications that are not necessarily recurring in nature, but for which a previous construction has been made and modifications to that construction are desired. The project can then be saved under a different name corresponding to that particular application. Once an existing project has been opened, the construction can be reviewed, modifications can be made to that construction, and it can be saved under a different project name, or a design report can be created for that particular construction. Once a Profus Anchor project has been opened, data can be input via the tabs located at the top portion of the main screen. Data can also be input using the graphical representation on the main screen. To input data via the tabs, click on the tab, then click on the particular parameter of interest. Input the data, and then either click OK or Enter to save that data. The new entry will be shown on the main screen. Likewise, to input data directly on the main screen, Highlight the parameter of interest and input the value corresponding to that parameter. Click Enter and the data will be saved. The parameters corresponding to each tab can be hidden by double clicking on the tab. This will permit a larger screen view of the graphical representation. The graphical representation can be increased or decreased in size using the button on your mouse. 
Holding down the left click button on the mouse, the image can be shifted to other locations on the main screen. Holding down the right click button on the mouse permits the user to rotate the view. The View tab is utilized to show various parameters that are used by Profus Anchor. Unchecking a box causes the parameter to disappear from the main screen. Checking the box allows a parameter to be shown on the main screen. The filter pane can be used to select certain anchor characteristics, to view the anchor portfolio, and to select a particular type of anchor. The results pane can be used to view real-time calculation results as well as any messages specific to a particular application. Checking the box for 2D view permits users to see both plan as well as elevation views of the graphical representation. Both the filter pane and the results pane have auto hide options. Let's say that I would like to utilize the auto hide option with the results pane. Clicking on the thumbtack corresponding to each parameter in the results pane causes the auto hide option to be implemented. Notice now that we have a larger view of the image on the main screen. Placing my mouse over the tab corresponding to a particular parameter within the results pane allows me to view the information within that parameter. Moving my mouse away from the tab causes the auto hide option to be once again implemented. Once a project is complete, it can be saved. I've designated this project Design Example 8.2a. To save this project, I can click on the icon at the upper left portion of the main screen, which is titled Save Project. In doing so, Design Example 8.2a will be saved in a location which I've designated on my laptop for the storage of my Profus files. Another example for saving a project is as follows. I've opened an existing project which I've named Design Example 8.2a. I'd like to make some changes to this project and then resave it under a different project name. So I'm going to go ahead and modify the tension load acting on the connection. And I'll also modify the edge distance in the negative y direction. Now I'd like to save this information, so in order to do so under a new file name, I click on the red Hilti icon, then click on the icon for Save As, and click on Save as an Anchor Project. I've designated the location on my computer where I'd like to save my Profus files in a folder called Profus, and specifically in a folder called Default Location. Unless I specify another location, any Profus Anchor file that I create will be saved in this folder titled Default Location. So I'll rename this project file and now I'm going to call this Design Example 9-1 and I will save it and now the file will be saved in my default location on my laptop. The upper left portion of the main screen contains icons that will be used on a regular basis. Click on the red Hilti icon to access options for saving or opening files. Click on the icon titled New to open a new Profus Anchor file. Click on the icon titled Open to open an existing Profus Anchor file. Click on the icon titled Save to save an existing Profus Anchor file using the same name. Click on the icon titled Save As to save a new Profus file or to save an existing Profus file under a different name. 
Clicking on the red Hilti icon at the upper left portion of the main screen permits users to view the 10 most recent files that they've created using Profus Anchor. Each time a new file is created, the 10th file will be deleted. If you'd like to save a particular file for future use, click on the thumbtack and the next time a new file is created, that particular file will not be deleted. One additional feature that can be accessed via the red Hilti icon is titled Options. Options permit you to customize Profus Anchor for your individual needs. For example, selecting the General Options, you can include the information that you would like to see on the design report that you create with each Profus Anchor file. You can also select, for example, the language that you would like to be shown on Profus Anchor while you're working. Another example of how you can customize your version of Profus Anchor is with respect to the design report. You can select a particular paper type and likewise you can select a particular language that you would like to see on the design report. Select project options to input information specific to the current Profus Anchor project upon which you're working. You can input information specific to the project that you would like to show on the design report for the project. You can also input information specific to the geometry for the project. Under the heading Geometry, you can select how you would like to show edge distance. For example, would you like to show edge distance as the distance from the center of the base plate to the edge of the concrete, or would you like to show it as the distance from the center of the anchor? to the edge of the concrete. Under the heading Units, you can select the units that you would like to use for the application. Under the heading Environment, you can select what's known as the Anchor Plate Factor. The Anchor Plate Factor is used to calculate the distance of the anchor from the edge of the base plate. The information contained under the heading Safety Factors is not valid for design with the US or Canadian codes. It is specific to design using the European codes. Click on Resources to view additional resources that are available for Profus Anchor. Click on Check for Updates to see if there are any updated versions of the software available. You will also be notified via the Auto Update option of any software updates. Auto Update is installed along with Profus Anchor software. Click on Contact Us to send an email to Hilti. Your email will be sent to Hilti North America Technical Services. Click on Go Online and you'll be connected directly to the Hilti website. Finally, if you would like additional information about Profus Anchor, click on the tab about Profus Anchor. To obtain a design report for your project, you can click on the Solution tab, then click on the box titled Report, and click on the icon for Design Report. Or you can go directly to the upper left portion of the main screen and click on the icon Design Report. A design report for your project will be generated. When generating a design report, three types of reports can be created. The detailed report provides detailed calculation results, including equations. The long report provides detailed calculation results without equations. The short report provides a brief one-page summary of the design calculations. Information specific to the project can also be input at this time. Clicking on the Browse button, you can select the location where you would like to store your Profus file. I've selected to store my Profus files in a folder titled Profus and specifically in a folder titled Default Location. You can select the location where you'd like to store your Profus files for this particular project or for all of your projects 
via the Browse button when generating a design report. Finally, the report name that is given in the design report will default to the name that you've given the Profus file that you've been working on. You can change this name when generating a design report. The project options which can be accessed via the red Hilti icon at the upper left portion of the main screen can also be accessed directly via the upper left portion of the main screen. The Help section for Profus Anchor can be accessed by clicking on the question mark which is located in the upper right portion of the main screen. Information is available for both US as well as European codes.